Scales are sketchy at best, but one thing's for sure. Stickers have exploded all across the 3DS landscape. Okay, so this is Paper Mario's first appearance on a handheld, and it's tailored for the distinct profile of the Nintendo 3DS. Not only does the art style really pop in 3D, but structurally it's more level-based, giving it the kind of playability you want in a portable game. And of course, it still retains the trademark humor of the series. Now with Mario, you'll collect stickers to solve puzzles and battle monsters, but you have no experience points, so finding power-ups is more important than ever. You'll do that by tracking down hidden items, fulfilling quests, and beating bosses, the last of which adds more pages to your sticker album. That allows you to collect more stickers, and more powerful stickers. And mixing sticker-based gameplay with the traditional action battle system of the Paper Mario series delivers a new twist. Every sticker is an individual attack, but once you use one, it's gone. So finding, collecting, and buying stickers becomes incredibly important. Winning battles rewards you with more stickers, or more importantly, coins. Now these can be used to buy more stickers, or you can plug them into the battle spinner. This thing is absolutely fundamental, and it's up to you to balance the risk-reward approach. If you can line up three slots, you'll be able to use three stickers on that turn, which can make the difference between victory and defeat. Trust me, you're going to spend a lot of coins on the battle spinner, not to mention on secret doors and other powerful stickers, which means every battle is a chance for a payday that will pay off later in the game. There are also deeper layers of strategy to consider in battles. For one thing, the enemies take on different paper forms, and Mario has to decide what to do. When a Goomba turns into a cone, for example, Mario must use a strategy other than a basic jump because, well, that Goomba is sharp now. When facing a Koopa Troopa, jumping on it to initiate the battle will allow you to kick its shell into other enemies. Now, there are as many attacks as there are stickers in the world, but you'll need to figure out the right attack to use at the right time. This is a long adventure, and throughout it, you'll be collecting stickers, scraps needed to repair this papery world, and real-world objects that can transform into powerful stickers. You'll use these in a lot of different ways, and you'll often find hints to their uses by paperizing the world, which you can do at any time. The new perspective will show you puzzles to solve, or stickers waiting to be discovered, so do it often. And as you make your way through the adventure, keep an eye out for the Sticker Museum. It's a place you'll want to come back to and visit very, very regularly. All right, so I've barely scratched the surface of this game, but believe me, you're in for some serious fun. Peeling the stickers off the environment just feels right. The battle strategy is fun, satisfying, and deep, and as with all Paper Mario games, the humor is top-notch. 